Yeah, what an exciting night. Um, just, you know, so proud of these these seniors. They've meant so much to our program. Um, you know, I said this in the post game, you know, you, you talk about our first regular season title and, and the best A-10 record and the, the championship games. But I think the biggest thing that talks about the, the, you know, what these five seniors have meant is that, you know, it wasn't an easy freshman year. And, you know, how they responded to that adversity was they, they worked, they got better, they stuck together. Um, and then we bounced back in, in an incredible way. And I'm so proud of, of their efforts. And, and again, tonight, you know, without the five of them, you know, we wouldn't have been in, in the spot to, to earn a great win against a really, you know, well-coached team in St. Joe's. And we know every game in the A-10 is going to be a battle. So, you know, excited that we've gotten, you know, two at, at home um, this weekend. And these both have been leading us to Rontea all year long. And, you know, they had a great game again tonight. Wayne, you got any questions? And if you, like I said, if you have any difficulties, feel free to type in the chat. Sorry, I was having some issue with my computer. I had to hop on my phone. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, but uh, I wanted to ask, um, you know, in the, in the first half, uh, you know, there were St. Joseph's getting some, some a lot of baskets inside, was having some success inside. What flipped in the third quarter when you guys went on that nine hour run and really take control? Yeah, I mean, I think part of it was a, a way that we were guarding a screen, to be honest, and that was on us, you know, from from a coaching standpoint, it was a scout thing that we we thought we could do it one way and that w it wasn't quite working. So um, we changed it at halftime. And, and that's what's great about the IQ of the, the players, especially Sam and Sophie and Chloe, you know, we made a quick change, uh, they adjusted it. And, and then I think our ball pressure um, from our guards, uh, especially our full court pressure, really um, tired St. Joe's out um, and it allowed us to, to really dominate the glass. Um, and I think that was a, was a key stat going all the way through. Uh, if I could ask uh, uh, all three of you guys, um, just what, what did tonight feel like? Just uh, you mentioned all those things, you know, that, that this, uh, this class has done and accomplished. Um, so what did it feel like, you know, that this was senior and I, like, after all you guys have accomplished, was it kind of surreal that you, you reached this point um, for, for, you know, Taya and, and Tara and for you as a coach, Coach Um, uh, No, I would say uh, it was a very emotional night <laughs> from the beginning. Um, you know, but I'm very proud of us and what we've accomplished the past four years. Um, you know, it was a process, but, you know, we all stuck together and believed in each other. And, you know, it's been so fun and it's been a really good experience. Uh, yeah, I'll piggyback off that. I think it's like mixed emotions, you know, sad because, uh, you know, we're getting ready to part ways and then just happy because all we, that we accomplished and all that coach talked about. So, you know, we're just proud of how we how we came together. Yeah, I, I would agree with Gerard. Definitely was emotional um, for sure. And, uh, you know, I just, I can't say enough about, um, you know, how much effort and how much work, um, you know, Taya has, has done in the training room and, and her knees. And, and then she leads us, she's in the weight room and, and you know, her voice. And then you look at what Tara has accomplished on the court and, you know, she's coming overseas and then back and forth and, She's in the gym and on that gun, you know, they lead by such examples and Sophie and Olga, you know, have just, you know, they've been here through a pandemic and, you know, it's been hard on everybody else and with your family and, and, and those guys haven't never been able to go home um, and the strength that they bring to our team in, in a lot of different ways. And, and Sydney has always been, you know, with our energy and has, you know, had such a huge impact. And on big rebounds and plays and, and game, you know, games all the way through that uh, the five of them have really helped us, um, you know, get where we, we where we are right now. Um, and that's it's a tremendous amount of pride for me um, to have the opportunity to coach them and just excited that I think the best way that you can say thank you is to, to get the win on your senior night. Coach Avoy, you mentioned in, in your address to to the fans that, you know, these seniors are the foundation of the program. So, um what will be kind of their lasting impact on this program, kind of their, their legacy? I don't know. First, making Coach O'Boyle cry on the microphone <laughs> might be the, the, the first one. Um, yeah, I just think, you know, when when we talk to recruits and, and, and they talk about VCU basketball and we look at the success that we've had in the A-10, it's, it's because of these guys. And, you know, I, 
I do think that there there's so much to be said. It's it's, it's hard right now when when you start off your your freshman year and you don't you don't win a lot of games. You see a lot of players and and teams fold. You know, players transfer out or make excuses, and you know you have that problem. We were we were the complete opposite. We went from seven games to the A10 championship mm-hmm. to the biggest turnaround in the NCAA, and and that was because of these guys. And I just think when you look back on their legacy. It's it's a commitment to VCU. You know they bleed the black and gold, and I think that says um, the most about their actions than than anything else. How do you kind of feel right now about how um, what, how the team's form at this point, heading into the you know, last couple of games as you get ready for the Day Ten tournament? Like, um, just how do you feel about? I know still dealing with a couple of, you know injuries and things like that. But how do you feel about the overall form um, heading into the, the tournament? You know, a couple weeks away now. Wayne, you want me to ask that, answer that, or you want one of these guys? Um, players, please, yes. Uh, we feel great, you know. Just want to keep our energy up, keep going up. We're improving. I think we're improving every game, um, taking steps in practice, not just improving in games, but in practice as well. So I think we just keep moving up, and I think we, we're in a great spot. Yeah, I agree with Tay. Um, we've definitely been improving every game, and I keep reminding the girls, you know, before every game and every practice that, we have to build from here. We don't want to go down or go backwards. We just have to keep going up, up, up until, you know, we want to play our best coaches that all the time. And that's what we're striving for every practice and every game. But Jabal, uh, if I could ask as well, um, what, is, what has kept uh, Sydney out during this recent stretch? Yeah, you know, Sydney's um, taking some time away from the program just to, to focus on some, some personal reasons. And, you know, we support her. And like I said, she has been a huge part of our success um, and we wouldn't be here today with without all the efforts that she's put in another one that has battled injuries and you know she has led um, by example um, and so we're supporting her as she takes some time away from the program.